My eighth grade year was when my brother created Hams for Fams, and so I got involved with that. I had gotten to go and like deliver a basket, and just seeing the family's faces, and I, it's something everybody says, but it really does change you, and it's something that impacts you greatly because for us, it's something that we take for granted, you know, food, having food for Thanksgiving or Christmas, but to these people, it's, it's, it's something monumental and they get so much joy out of it that it really kind of humbles you and makes you take a backseat and realize that your problems really aren't as crazy as you may think and these people are so joyed to have just the basic food. The very Reverend Father Pedro Arupe Award for Service was merited in 2020 ex aequo by two Blue Jays, one of whom is Hayes Martin. The award is given to a Blue Jay who exemplifies the spirit of being a man for others by his participation and excellence in the area of service. End of ninth grade, I was elected uh, service coordinator for Sodality. So sophomore year, I was organizing a few of those projects. And we did, uh, we went to the Restore at Habitat for Humanity and, you know, helped them bring furniture and other donations in and kind of um, put them back together in case they weren't built or stuff that came in that was still in boxes and we would build it for them. And those experiences, you know, they were four or five hour experiences, but they really, they, they, they were great, you know, and you got to, you, I would finish the day and be like, that was fun. I truly enjoyed doing it. And so my junior year, I took over Hams for Fams and uh, myself and a fellow classmate were co-presidents. And Hams for Fams uh, mission is to deliver free Christmas meals to people in need. And that's the basics of it. And it was it was great, you know, being able to organize and run it and be able to feed, you know, our first year we did uh, 210 families, I believe. You know, it's easy to get caught up in the uh, administrative roles and all that kind of work and forget why you're actually doing it and what, what you're here to do. And that's another reason why we still to this day that we give each family a Christmas card. It's handwritten and then every member on the board hand signs. No electronic signatures, no, you know, typed up and printed 250 times. Everyone is done personally just to let these people know that this, this is, people aren't doing this, uh, you know, for a resume builder or just to get service hours. People are doing this because we actually care. We actually want to make a difference. The award was named after Father Pedro Arupe, who was the Superior General of the Society of Jesus at the time, who was explaining the direction that the Society of Jesus was moving. And while that was happening at Jesuit High School, there was another opportunity for growth. In the 1973-74 school year, the school takes on new leadership. Father Paul Schott becomes president and very quickly names Father Harry Thompson as the principal. And their task is to reanimate school spirit, to help the students identify with the spirit of the school, to understand the school is their school, and to fall in love with being a Blue Jay and with living up to the ideals of being a man of faith and a man for others. The early 70s is when the service project requirement moves from 25 hours to 100 hours per year. And so the Arupe Award is founded not for competition, but to make sure that the good work that Blue Jays were doing in the early 70s for their neighbor is known, celebrated, and highlighted. And so the award really holds up members of our community, student members of our community, who are making a difference in the world. During Hampshire Fams, actually, and a lot of families were saying that they had, um, they, they needed medical supplies and stuff, and they needed help with medical treatment, and that, that was something that uh, struck me because I'd always kind of been naive saying, oh, Medicare, Medicaid, that, that pays for everything, right? And of course, I figured out that it doesn't. There's a lot of stuff that goes unpaid for. So I created BridgeMed, and the goal is to bridge the medical gap between what Medicare, Medicaid, insurance programs will provide and what you really need. Mr. Flores kind of helped me to grow my spiritual life because throughout Jesuit, you know, the whole motto of being a man for others and doing service. And Mr. Murphy, I got to thank Mr. Murphy for organizing the uh, service project I did crew to camp and got to help um, kids with developmental disabilities. And that was eye-opening for me because, you know, for, I had always been helping people that needed help due to financial reasons. This was a whole different side of service and I loved it just as much. And it was so nice to be able to branch out and see all these different kinds of service. And I have to thank Mr. Murphy and Jesuit for those opportunities. Because without, without Jesuit, I don't think I'd be sitting where I am today doing what I do, managing two nonprofits. 
Beyond the required project, Hayes was someone who was always involved with service at Jesuit, whether it was through uh, the senior sodality that he was very involved with, through his role leading the campus ministry program um, here on campus, um, his role as a baseball manager, um, and then off campus, things like Bridge Med and Hams for Fams. He's someone who his whole sort of Jesuit experience seemed to be rooted in serving others, whether they were on our own campus or, or off campus. Hayes is someone who you can tell is already sort of attuned to the needs of other people in his community, even at a young age now, um, and where, you know, his Jesuit service experience will very much be the first hundred hours and not the last hundred hours. Um, you can tell he's a young man who is going to go out uh, in college and beyond and try to recognize where he's needed and recognize where the needs are in his community and then work to, to fill them. To get younger kids involved in service and let them truly see these. Because for what I say, there's a lot of people, that, you know, classmates, I'd be like, come on, come, come volunteer at Hamster Fams, come deliver. And they'd say, well, I don't know, you know, I, I may not have the time for it. And I'd say, just give me, give me one time. Come out, deliver one basket. And if you don't want to do it again, never do it again but I guarantee you, you're gonna to wanna to do it again. And I have had no one tell me, I don't wanna do it again. All of them have come out and said, thank you for pushing me to do that because that was an experience that I really enjoyed. So to a younger self or to anybody younger, I'd say, get involved with service because I guarantee you, you're not gonna regret it. I, I could really, I could verbatim tell you conversations I've had with families and getting to know them and it's, it's really nice.